Hey y'all, how are ya? Hope you've had a great week this week and are ready to get down to some more Bible study. Now, up to now I've introduced you to several of my family members and today I have two very special people that I want to introduce you to. Come on in guys. These are my nephews. They belong to my sister, Leslie, and this is Colson. How old are you, Colson? Ten years old. Ten years old. And this is Parker. How old is Parker? Thirteen. Thirteen. And these are two very special boys to me, and I pray for them every day, and I, I'm just praying that the legacy that I'm leaving will point them to Jesus Christ. They're on their way to school. School's been delayed for a couple of hours today, and I appreciate them coming by and letting me introduce you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, you worked so hard this week as you did your Bible study, and this week required just a little bit more from you than the previous weeks. This week, we continued to study about our faith and how it is part of the legacy that we are leaving. Now, I want you to hang with this because this is the point in a Bible study when many, many people are tempted to drop out because you've done a little bit of work, but gosh, it's taken up a little bit of your time, and it's just easy to drop out at this point. But hang with it because we are getting to the place now in the Bible study where the Holy Spirit's really going to begin to do some hard work on us. This week you studied about promise keeping and we're going to move from promise keeping and faith now to the issue of our character and how our character plays into the legacy that we are leaving for the generations that come behind you. Now I want you to go out and get you a pair of steel-toed boots because I can promise you this week that the Holy Spirit and I unapologetically are going to get all up in your business. He did it to me long before I ever wrote this study when he started working on my character. The Bible has something to say about character. In Psalm, I'm sorry, in Proverbs 22.1, Proverbs 22.1, it says, A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. The Bible says it calls it a good name, but really that's a good character. A good name is better than anything. I've given you at the beginning of your homework this week a definition for character out of the Encarta Dictionary. I want to read you a couple other definitions that sound a little bit different than what you have been given. This is out of my Webster's Collegiate Dictionary, and it says character is one of the attributes or features that make up and distinguish an individual. The complex of mental and ethical traits marking and often individualizing a person, group, or nation. Moral excellence and firmness. This week we're going to study four specific character traits, things like lying, gossip, trustworthiness. Now some of you may be cringing at this point and some of you may be saying, well, I don't really have any problems with that. Don't be so quick to assume that you don't have character issues that need to be addressed. I'm going to ask you before you start your week of homework this week to sit down and spend some time praying and asking the Holy Spirit if you have any areas of your heart that need addressed. I hope you don't, but I would bet that you do. So please sit down just before you start your homework and ask the Holy Spirit to search your heart and show you if you have a problem with lying. You're going to hear some statistics this week that are shocking with regard to lying. Are you trustworthy? Do you gossip? These are all issues that we're going to, to um, check into this week. Now, here are your points to ponder and hopefully come back and comment on. We haven't had as many comments this last week, and I don't know why that is. Maybe you're just busy. Maybe your computers are down. Um, but I'm hoping you'll come back and comment some more this week. These two points to ponder that you are to comment on, you may this week come back anonymously because these could definitely be tender issues. So you're welcome to comment anonymously this week. The first one is, you may or may not want to use names on this first one, but I would like for you to describe the character traits, either positive or negative, of a person who has impacted you, who has left some sort of a legacy for you, be it positive or negative. So that's number one. Number two is 
as you're going to see on day four of this study, the Holy Spirit dealt with me about a particular character issue. And it had to do with one of these young men you just saw here this morning at my house. So I would love for you to come back here and share about a time when the Holy Spirit dealt with you about a character issue. I'd love for you to share what that character issue was, how the Holy Spirit got in your business about it, and what the outcome of it was. So that's our assignment for this week. Get into your homework. Pray that the Holy Spirit will shine a light on the dark places of your heart that need to be changed so that you can leave a wonderful character legacy for the generations that come behind you. Have a great week. Bye-bye.